spending over five million dollars for a 30 second commercial. Hello. Pepsi's more than okay. It's okay. Nope. If you won a 30 second ad at Super Bowl 57, you have to pay upwards of $7 million. That's roughly a million dollar increase over last year. This is a table with the price for a 30 second ad during the Super Bowl for the last 10 years. It just keeps going up and up. So is it worth ponying up that kind of cash? For starters, the Super Bowl is the most watched event in the United States. Data from Nielsen, the global leader in audience measurement, show that over 100 million people tune in to watch the Super Bowl. This large and highly engaged audience provides a unique opportunity for advertisers to reach a wide range of consumers. Advertisers have a platform for creating memorable and impactful ads that can generate significant buzz and attention. The high cost of advertising during the Super Bowl reflects the value that advertisers placed on the opportunity to reach a large and engaging audience. Sure, it makes sense that you want your ad in front of millions of eyes, but how do advertisers know if the money spent helps the bottom line? Well, there have been a number of academic articles that examine the value of advertising during the Super Bowl, like this one. This article examines the relationship between Super Bowl advertising and stock market returns. The authors find that firms that advertise during the Super Bowl tend to experience positive stock returns in the weeks following the game. Then there's also this interesting study from 2004 titled Super Bowl Advertising Effectiveness, Hollywood Finds the Games Golden. In this study, the authors looked at movie ads shown during the Super Bowl and found that movies that were promoted during the Super Bowl generated twice as much revenue at the US box office compared to movies that were not advertised during the Super Bowl for the years 1998 to 2001. These two articles point to positive gains from Super Bowl advertising. But the ads today compete for the title for who can get the best ad. It's a popularity contest. I suppose if you make a memorable ad, the chances that that someone might buy your product or use your service goes up. But it's sure a lot of money for companies to spend when targeted ads to individual consumers might be the better option. Let me know if you think Super Bowl ads are worth the money. Have you ever bought a product after watching a Super Bowl ad? If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Thanks for liking and subscribing. See you next time, Bud Wiser.